Hello, my name is Jeff Rolka. I want to thank you very much for watching. This is a new video for my beginner's series of voice lessons that are here on YouTube. This is also really a good video just for narrowing your voice. If you find that some of the vowels are a little bit wider than what you might like, like they lack focus, um, then you can work with this video and it can help you to learn to narrow your vocal delivery a little bit more. As always, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up so I know to create more like it. We're going to start um, in a comfortable range for both male and female vocals. I'll be playing the male vocal part in my left hand, and female vocal part in my right hand. You can sing whichever is more comfortable. As we get further into the video, I'm going to start doing it all just um, at a single line, and you'll just have to drop in when you get into a comfortable range and drop back out if it gets too high. So, for starters, he, H-E. The H separates the vocal fold, so we eliminate a glottal attack. The E is a very narrow vowel. We're just going to do arpeggios. It'll sound like this. E, 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 E. Gentlemen, you can start down here. And let's begin. And... to go back down to that lower register and we're going to do the arpeggio ascending and sing a scale descending so it'll sound like this he, he, he. again all on e the e vowel h is for the ascending arpeggio a melismatic scale one more time he, he, he. Now, one of the things I like about the E vowel is that with good engagement and good airflow, we can really turn this into an agility exercise. So we're going to do that pattern again, um, but we're going to repeat the arpeggio and scale. We'll repeat it twice in each key, so it'll sound like this. And the key there is to uh, slur into the tonic of the next arpeggio. Ready? And...
Okay. And so now, this next exercise, it's really going to be the arpeggio and scale again, but rather than singing he's on the ascending arpeggio, we're going to make it a melismatic scale too, or I should say melismatic arpeggio. So no he's, except for the very first one. He. And we'll do that once through. And. Now we'll do it twice through. Um, we're going to add a little bit of a change here. Um, this has been a lot of the E vowel. Um, but I'm going to give you the opportunity to experiment a little bit with it. If you're feeling comfortable with E and you want to give yourself a little bit of a challenge, what you can do is switch to A. E and the goal is to try to keep those two vowels feeling very, very similar. All right, and again, if you're still working with E, then just stick to E. e. We're still doing it completely melismatically rather than with the H's. And. Okay, now we're going to switch to uh, a single line here in my right hand. So if it's too low, just wait for it to get to a comfortable range. As it gets too high, um, just drop out. We're going to begin with <clears throat> uh, a five note scale followed by a perfect, or a ninth, excuse me. So be E. Working to really integrate and open up our range a little bit. Okay, really, really keep your airflow positive. Keep lifting. Try to keep that line really, really sustained. And.
finally, and this may be getting a little bit outside the scope of a, of a truly beginner's lesson, but that's all right. You can always come back to it and, and work with it a little bit more. Um, same pattern, uh, but this time, if you want to switch to A, then I'd encourage you to do so. And I would do so at the tonic. So what that is, is E, A. Tonic's the first note of our key. It's the lowest note in each of the exercises that we're doing. So once again, E, A. And there you go. As always, I hope you find this very helpful. My name is Jeff Rolka. Thank you very much for checking out my video. If you've chosen to subscribe, I thank you very much. If you haven't, you can do so now. You just click the link on screen and take care of that. If you have questions, comments, or concerns otherwise, please do just drop them in the comment section and I will get back to you just as soon as I possibly can. If you find this helpful, but you feel that you'd like a little bit more personal attention, I do do lessons both in person and via Skype. You can click the link that's on screen now, and we can see if we'd be a good fit to work together, either in person or online. One last time, thank you very, very much for watching. Take really good care of your voices, enjoy singing, and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.